Good morning. <laughs> and good morning to you too. Hi, from Kochi. My name is Ivana and I am on my way to do a yoga class first and later we are going to explore Kochi. Yo, your girl is doing the pigeon pose for the first time. Thank you. That's lovely. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my gosh. But Sanji, shouldn't this like go more back? Like this? Straight up to the earth, not straight yet. Okay, okay. Not one okay. We just finished the yoga class and can you hear the sounds over here? Exactly, it's just nature, no honking, no, well, no honking, because <laughs> that's what you hear in most other Indian cities, no people yelling or anything. Also, look at this, bananas in Saji's yard over here, I think these are papayas, I'm not sure, palm trees everywhere. Kochi is palm tree paradise, man. I love it. No, putu. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Also, mashed with banana. Mm, love it. Sprouts. I don't know what that is. I think that's dessert. Beets. Dal. Look at all this healthy food, man. So this is what stood out to me the most last year when I compared the south to the north. Guys wearing lungis. Lungis it's called, right? The cloths. The loin cloths. <laughs> finished some work and it is now 4 p.m. the temperature is manageable just like in the desert do not go out in Kochi between 12 and 3 because it's hot and when I say it's hot it's really really hot right now it's perfect like my my ideal temperature is right now I will first take you to the touristy part today and tomorrow we can go to the non-touristy part which is my favorite this is KB Jacob roads one of the main roads and also the bus from the airport arrives on this road over there this is something I would really really not recommend to foreign girls especially if you're blonde in India in general don't don't wear shorts please like you're making life harder for yourself you can do it the police will not arrest you, but you're just making life harder for yourself. We are going, well, let me take you this way, to the church. I'm probably going to get a lot of ish for saying that from Indian men who say like, we're not animals, we can control ourselves. I know, honey, I know. But I also know shorts are not normal in India. Also from very, you know, uh, feminist so female solo travelers. Ah, I should be able to wear whatever I want. No, no, no. Yes, honey, you can. Of course, but you're making life harder for yourself. You can do whatever you want, but don't complain afterwards if you're not having a good time in India because everybody's staring at you. And again, look how quiet this road is. No traffic, barely honking. <laughs> Kochi is so peaceful compared to all the cities where I've been. I cannot even imagine how I was struggling to cross this street when I first came here. Now I'm like, what is this? Like, you can walk whenever you want. <laughs> the ATM situation, by the way, is getting very interesting because I run out of uh, fluid for my contacts. And you need money to buy that, you know? So I do have some dollars with me, which I can maybe exchange, but it will be nice to find a working ATM. Also, one big contrast to the places where I've been until now is that the houses in Kochi are huge. Look at this house. Of course, not every house, but they have so much more space and they build bigger houses. Kerala is also the home of Ayurveda. Well, I don't know if it's the home, but there are very very specialized in Ayurveda and treatments and stuff like that. Kerala is also a place where um, Katakali is a traditional dance from Kerala. It's quite special. I went there last time. <laughs> The thing 
that makes it special is that they are using literally all of their body parts to dance so also their eyebrows and eyes and ears and everything it was it was very interesting to see it wouldn't be the first thing i would recommend you to go do in kochi or kerala because the backwater tours that was amazing like I, that would be the number one thing i would recommend there we go a little bit of honking i was already starting to feel like i'm not in india anymore where's the honking this is what we are going to visit first Santa Cruz Cathedral Basilica. The cathedral from the outside. Oh, this is actually a really nice time to visit with the sun. Can you see that? It's very, very beautiful from the outside and also from the inside. I'm not filming the inside because that's something you should see for yourself. Also, I don't film in churches, temples, whatever. Last time I was here, this building behind me, there was a wedding and I crashed uh, Christian wedding so not a Hindu wedding a Christian wedding and for those of you guys who've been saying Ivana watch a Malayalam movie blah 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 from the south I watched Premam last year without subtitles and this girl at the wedding she was teaching me the Premam dance on freaking stage <laughs> Everybody attending the wedding was watching me doing the premam dance or actually attempting because I'm not good at it at all that vlog is in Dutch by the way so if you're Indian you probably know this but if you're not Indian the South has a lot more Christian people I think it's predominantly Christian people and a lot more Muslims I think that's a big difference with the North too we're going to continue along the main road when you get to this place we turn left because I'm going to show you one of the most touristy streets in Kochi Princess Street I think this is the most recommended street on TripAdvisor to visit also there is a very popular western cafe here wait, I will show you in a minute hmm, I'm looking for Kashi cafe but I can't seem to find it right now it's also one of the most recommended places for on TripAdvisor I really really like TripAdvisor but in general for restaurants and stuff like that it's for me for my taste it's very touristy so I rarely go there and some people ask like last time why wouldn't you eat at touristy places well the food is never that good you need to eat at the local places for the best food oh no actually I think it's behind Princess Street on Burger Street these restaurants are actually quite okay I ate here last year too whenever you see locals eating in restaurants then it's probably okay let me see here yeah, there we go Kashi Art Cafe it's behind Princess Street so it's a really nice place it looks really cool and they have good stuff but it's very touristy in my opinion let me just show you around because it looks quite cool I have to say that hello <laughs> It's quite open and there's cool art. Pineapples, pineapple pen. And yeah. Quite some greenery inside too. Open roof. I never said it was not a nice place. I just said it's quite thirsty. And that's why I would never go there. But if you're into that, you should definitely go. Where I would want to go, or recommend you to go, is I need to get back to Princess Street and then I will show you. Back at the start of Princess Street, and I think it's this way. They call Kerala God's own country. Let me see if I'm on the correct path. I think I am. Yes, I am. Look at that. Teapot Cafe in Fort Cochin. Also, a little bit touristy, but it looks really, really cute. Look at this. This is my kind of jam. So if I have to go touristy, I will go here. And I ate a couple of times here as well. I ordered the cheesecake, which is like very, very well praised on TripAdvisor. I cannot say I agree with the praise because it is not the best cheesecake ever, but it's good cheesecake. It's so cute. 
so if I would have to pick a touristy place to go to, I would rather go to Tifa because it's a little bit more local than Kashi Art Cafe. But you've seen them both, you can choose now. Currently I am walking back to Princess Street and then we're going to turn left because also one of the things that is, well, recommended in Kochi are the fisherman nets. So when you walk out of Princess Street, over there are those restaurants and Burger Street. Turn left. And I think it's over there, so I should actually walk this way. And then I think I can cross through the playground. Yes, there we go. The fisherman nets. Wait for it, wait for it, I have to get to the water. There we go. Quite impressive, right? And it's even cooler when they are, I don't know, when they're using them. So getting them out of the water and stuff. There are actually quite a lot of those. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're going to continue walking along the water. Because I want to show you the beach. And you can buy fresh fish here if you're into that. Before people start recommending me fish dishes, I'm vegetarian. I don't eat meat, I don't eat fish, and I don't eat baked and fried eggs and boiled eggs. Look at this predator. She's just waiting until she can snatch one away. <laughs> yeah, we're at the ocean side. Love it. If you want to swim here, by the way, you need to wear clothes. This is for all my foreigners. If you're an Indian, of course, know this. But Indian people, they swim with clothes. So wear a t-shirt and pants. Oh, something also very specific about Kochi, the crows. Do not touch the crows. If you touch one crow, all the crows will attack you and you will seriously have to, well, get out of Kochi because they will not leave you alone. This is not a test. This is not a joke. Do not touch the crows. This is real. I'm just going to continue walking along the beach into that direction. It's super windy. I'm trying to protect your ears. I think the beach actually looks great. Last year it was a lot more polluted and I think they've taken measures to not do that anymore. We're going to continue to the Dutch cemetery. And actually these restaurants over here are quite alright. You can eat here. Lots of seafood. Fresh seafood if you're into that. Last time I didn't visit the Dutch cemetery, I just walked past it because I'm not a massive fan of visiting cemeteries, just in general. I don't want to see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we can walk past it and I can just show you. Kerala is so green, but my favorites are the palm trees, the endless palm trees. Love it. Apparently I can't even find the Dutch cemetery. That's how interesting I think it is. Ooh, this wall is pretty though. Look at that. I think that's it. That's the most thirsty part of Fort Kochi. It's not that big to be very honest. and. You can just walk around. This took me maybe an hour from my homestay to get here and just walk around and everything. Yeah, you can, of course, hire a rickshaw. It's good for their business. And also when it's hot, you might not want to walk around. Do it, but if you want to walk, it's perfectly fine. You can do it. Currently, we're walking back to Princess Street because the guy from the tourist office told me that there was a working ATM this morning. So it's probably not working now anymore, but at least I can try. When you get to the main road, cross the road, and over there you can see... Wait, 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 wait. Traffic here is not crazy, but we still don't want to get hit by a bus. Yes, so you can see the place already getting a lot more colorful. Just the way I like it. There we go, the start of the cool part of town. So tomorrow we're going to go that way. But right now we're going this way. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, nom 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 nom. Sweets. But no, I'm sticking to the healthy yogi diet. Not eating any sweets. I'm just going to have dinner at Saji's place. Oh no, I think it's just the same bank. 
Oh, this looks like an ATM that's working. There's a line. And not that long of a line, so I can stand in it. Let's stand in line. Okay, no, this is not gonna work because dinner at Saichi's place is in 10 minutes and this will take longer than 10 minutes for sure. I will just go tomorrow. Come on, Banks. Come on, you can do it. Dispense cash, man. Dispense cash. Access Bank is working right now, but this line is just too long. Especially on an empty stomach. Good dinner. Tummy is full. Let's check out the ATM situation again, I think. Is Caesar following me? No, Caesar is not following me. That's a good thing. <laughs> He's a little bit of a silly dog. <laughs> it looks like the Q Diva. Beat the Q again. Moolala, look, the new 2000 rupee notes. And this is actually the first thing I bought. <laughs> I really, really needed it. If you're wondering, Ivana, how did you get two 2000 rupee notes when the limit is only 2000 per day? Well, there is a little hack. You can take out 2,000 once and then you put your ATM card in again and you can get another 2,000. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it works. Life hack, pro tip, life pro tip. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little tour, but I promise you tomorrow will be better. And shortly after you will have this juice shop on your right side. If you would like to travel along tomorrow, click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, you can always put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.